Hello. Happy Saturday. I almost said Sunday. Happy Saturday. Liam and Andrew are playing chess. I'm drinking tequila, tequila and tequila, coconut water, coconut milk, and orange juice because I don't have any pineapple juice. So if you need a suggestion, this is what I recommend today. Hi, Kim. Andrew's drinking a summer shandy from Line and Kugel because it's sunny out and we're trying really hard to make it warm like spring and summer. But the wind is still a little chilly, hence my headband today because my sides of my head get a little chilly in the wind. So I want to talk a little bit about offense and defense, which this, this live stream is dedicated to my son Liam. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Uh, because Liam is 10. They're playing chess. Andrew and Liam are playing chess together. And uh, they're I was talking with him about offense and defense. Hi, Amy. And I was telling him that he was having like a frustrating game. I think this is like their fourth or fifth game or something in a row. And Liam is super smart, super strategic. He's a very like chess is like up his alley. And he was having kind of a rough game. And I was like, dude, you, you lost this game when you dropped into the defense. You started getting defensive. You started like acting like you were being attacked, right? And you start to be in that defensive mode. And anytime we drop into being defensive is when we're gonna run into problems. We start to backpedal. We start to feel a little bit more anxiety and stress and distress. Um, uh, hi, Angela. Hi, Steven. <laughs> See, Kristen. Um, and I was talking with them about how when you're on the defense, when you get in that mode of like backpedaling and really starting to like, you get anxiety, you get stressed, you get worried, like you start making kind of, you know, not the greatest decisions. You start rushing. And then I told him like, okay, like you need to shift, like go shift on the, and be on the offense. When you're on the offense, you have so much more advantage. You have the ability to actually start to gain that momentum and start to move forward. Hey, Veronica. And he was like, great. So he started like doing moves super quick. I was like, no, no, no. Being on the offense doesn't mean rushing. Being on offense doesn't mean just hurrying forward and bull rushing through things. The best kind of offense is intentional offense. That means you are thinking. It doesn't mean slow. I'm not telling you to go slow. Y'all know I'm not a slow person by any means. I'm super impatient. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Okay, so I'm not gonna go slow, but I can be very, very intentional. So when your offense is intentional, that is when you have the most power. That is when you really start to, to like push ahead and gain ground to keep with our like sort of football-ish reference that we've got going on here. Um, so think about it. When you find yourself on defense and being defensive, right? You can defend yourself without being defensive or on defense. Do you understand the difference with that? Okay, that's your first part. Need more tequila, guys. Um, so if you're on, if you're on, if you're defending yourself is one thing. You are always allowed to defend yourself and to stand your, for yourself and stand your own ground. Absolutely, 100%. Being defensive and being, um, being like on defense, not okay. Never okay. I don't support that. Okay. Like in emergency situations, yes, but it's not the best decision. It's not going to allow you to actually shift faster and make more progress and continue to move forward. You can be defending yourself and can continue to make progress. Okay. You can be defending yourself, standing your ground and having firm boundaries and doing what is necessary and still continue to move forward and see big results and big gains. That's very different from being defensive and being on defense. When you do allow yourself to shift and you are on the offense and you are making moves, when you are intentional, you make a hell of a difference. That means that you take the time to actually look at what's going on, be in a space of awareness, of connection. Hi, Ashley of paying attention to where are all the pieces, right? So in chess, literally, where are all the pieces? Football, where are all the players? In life, in business, in relationship, where are all the pieces at play and where what's going on, right? Take stock of what's in front of you. This is the, like the best quarterbacks in football have the ability to do this super, super fast. But when they're intentional with their next action and their decision and what they've decided they are going to do, that's when you get the superstar quarterback. That's when you get killer business people. That's when you get people that are just like crushing it in life because they're able to take stock and become aware of what's here, 
what's going on, where are all the pieces, what's necessary, and what is my move, and intentionally taking that next step intentionally taking that next action and making their decision. That doesn't mean necessarily that you have to get it right and you've gotta be um, you know, doing it right and it's gotta be this fantastic thing and the next step can't be wrong. Like sometimes their great play doesn't work out. Awesome, but when they're, when they're intentional, that doesn't make a difference really, right? Like they're still able to continue to move forward and make more progress and go to the next play and it's no big deal. Like they learn, they move on, right? Business, you learn, you move on. But when you're on, on defense and when you are being defensive, those wrong moves just like keep building and keep like, not even building in a good way, just like build up, right? Like weighing you down, causing more problems. It's, it's like quicksand, if you've ever seen replacements, when Falco says he, his fear is quicksand. Um, and that's like the perfect example, right? That you start with, and we said this actually with the Red Wings this last season, <laughs> that like you start to, make not just this last season like quite a few seasons in a row let's be honest but they start with like they can do really well but then as soon as they make that one mistake they just like keep keep going keep digging keep sinking and it just builds until it swallows you whole that's quicksand that's what happens when you get on the defensive when you're on defense versus when you're actually allowing yourself to be defending strongly, holding boundaries, doing what is necessary with decisions in the backfield and in the back office and in back plays, and still moving forward tremendously with offense, intentional movements. So if you're looking at relationships, for example, and you know, quarantine is showing us a whole lot of things about our relationships right now and the people that we are currently at home with all the time, is the time that you're spending with them intentional? Are the decisions that you're making about interactions with each other intentional? Or is everybody just on the defense? Is everybody just in defensive mode right now in your house of like, my walls are up because I'm irritated and we're all stuck here and I don't even know what's gonna make me happy. I don't know what's gonna make me healthy and like feel really great. So it's just irritability and snapping and constant irritation and like friction between you. Or are you able to actually see what's going on for you? What are the pieces at play here? What are the things that need to be happening that aren't happening and evaluating and intentionally make the next best choice to support yourself and the relationship that you want during all of this? Like, to be honest, Andrew and I have been really great through all of this. And like I've said before, not a whole lot changed for us being what I do, you know, doing what I do as a, um, in the coaching industry. And Andrew is a police officer, like not a lot changed for us except for our kids are home now and being homeschooled instead of going to school every day for that stuff. That's literally kind of the only thing that changed. I'm kind of a hermit <laughs> as it is anyway. So there's very few days when I'm like, oh man, I miss people. Today was definitely one. I will say this morning we got to, or this early this afternoon, we got to go with our neighbors. They invited us over to a social distancing egg hunt and it was amazing to have people like to be able to talk to people and to be in their space and in their energy yes we were still separate we didn't touch anybody the egg hunts every kid had their own little area it was it was amazing it was perfect and it was what i needed to fulfill something for myself oh that's easy but again that was an intentional choice that was an intentionally offensive decision to allow myself to continue to live life and thrive during this quarantine time so has quarantine put you on the defense has it put you in defensive mode or are you willing to defend and stay on the offense it's kind of a great question to be asking right now but it's also a really great question to ask on the regular for like life in general are you being defensive and on defense all the time and it feels like things are constantly just like piling on you and coming at you again and again and you can't get a grip and you're constantly backpedaling and you're just like trying you're in reaction mode right hey tammy when we're in reaction mode that's defensive like same thing reaction mode is defensive mode survival mode defensive mode not great space to be able to actually be happy and reaching freedom and achieving the goals that you've got for yourself and experiencing everything life is that everything that life has for you here even in all of this there's still so much here to experience and to be doing and to be stepping into like so much more but you're not going to be able to do it if you're on the defensive like I said, defend, yes. Defend is great when you need to, when it's necessary, but allow yourself to actually be on offense. And when you are intentionally choosing offensive mood mo moves, Check. huge game changer, huge difference. Like that is the best type of offense there is. 
And I was, I actually used the football example with Andrew and Liam was like, think about the fit your football teams and your sports teams when they are intentionally offensive, they're not rushed. They're not panicky about the, the play clock. They're not paying attention to it really. Like they're aware of it. Yes. Because they're aware of the pieces, right? Like I was saying, take stock of, be aware of the pieces that are at play here and things that are not being done and not being met and make the decisions that are necessary intentionally. The best offensive teams are that way, Whether no matter the sport, right? I'm using football because that's kind of what came to mind, but it's every sport and it's every area of life. Where can you be more intentionally offensive? Not offensive as in offending people, but offensive as in allowing yourself to be action taking, moving forward and like gaining ground, achieving more, right? Happy Easter to you too, Tammy. Okay. Hey, Allison. Oops. I clicked a button. Oh, crap. There we go. Oh, the sun is moving. If I lean too far forward, I'm going to get all washed out. So that's my like super amazing tip that came from totally in dedication to Liam, who is playing chess. And he was my inspiration for today because I was actually saying things and Andrew said, hey, should I be recording this? I was like, oh, no, but I should. I should be recording this. I should be sharing this. This is a great point. Like this is what happens when you show up for life. Lessons and inspiration and ideas and realizations happen everywhere. It's not just about are you in your business meeting? Are you working in your business? Like the best stuff for my business happens when I'm living life. And that's true for every industry and every person, no matter what your position is. The best inspirations for you and the best way to actually allow yourself to do more in business, especially in the entrepreneur world and work at home world, hint, hint, pretty much everybody right now is to actually let yourself live your life. Yes, even in quarantine, you can be still living your life. When you live your life, you're going to actually have a lot more stuff that's gonna help you with business and going to boost your business and the inspiration is gonna come. Like for everything, ideas on how to make business better, ideas on how to connect more with people, ideas on what to pursue that's really fun and easy or ways to serve right now. That stuff only happens if you're being authentic offensive if you are on the offense choosing intentionally to allow yourself to still thrive and live during all of this during every day right i think the quarantine was like all of this covid stuff and and asking us to be at home and to pause a lot of things and to postpone a lot of things was a wake-up call for a lot of people it was really truly awakening for a lot of people to realize how much they have been on the defense how much they have been just going through life and going through the motions and not being intentional about the decisions they're making and the things that they're doing. Is that you? Are there things that you are starting to realize that like, man, I was just, I was totally asleep half the time. I was going through motions. I was just doing whatever I had to do and trying to like backpedal and trying to survive and wasn't so great. Where can you, where can you be more intentional? Where can you be more intentional now? Where can you allow yourself to be living and thriving now? And that's not just during quarantine. Ask yourself that all the time from here on forward. Where Where can I be more intentional? Where can I be more specific? Where can I be more strategic? Where can I find something that is truly like life giving and lighting me up? What's exciting to me? Like the best plays in football are the ones that are so exciting because like the coach has that moment. The quarterback has that moment, right? In the moment, in the in the in that play, in that huddle, not in the rush, right? If you're rushed and you're you've got that anxiety, like you you go from head up. Hi Anna. Like from if you're operating from head up and from neck up, like you're totally gonna miss so much of what's available because you're not connected, because you're feeling rushed, because that's not offense. That's still defensive. Rushing forward, hurrying through things, that's still being defensive. And that's not serving anyone. So where can you actually allow yourself to have intentional offense? Where do you need to do that? In every area of life, not just business, money, and like sports, every area of life, where can you be more intentional? That's your question for today. Where do you need more intention? Where can you make decisions? Where do you need to take stock of the pieces that are actually at play? Where do you need to stop ignoring some things or denying some things and really start to take stock of that so that you can actually make a better, more intentional decision? Cool? Okay, so 
the call up is open for registration still. If you're interested in doing more emotional clearing with me, more coaching with me, that's the space in the container that's currently open. It's a group program. Um, we've already started, it's been phenomenal, but there's like no set content. It's all meant to serve you in the moment and what you're going through right now in the season that you're in right now and allowing you to move forward. Um, so if you like my style, you like my stuff, you wanna do more emotional clearing, reach out to me. The, that, those calls are on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, that's for at least two months. That's where I've started it at. I'm not sure if it's going to continue past that or not. We'll see. Um, I don't know when the next emotional clearing call is going to be, but I will be doing another one in the near future because those have been so beneficial and so powerful and amazing to be able to do. So pay attention for those. And I'm doing wealth clears right now. That's the other thing that I forgot to say. I'm doing wealth clearing calls. I don't normally do one-off sessions when I'm working with somebody. I like it to be a long-term relationship, but there's so much value right now in allowing people to heal money story stuff, heal the wealth wounds. Heal, and it's not just money. It's like wealth stuff. It's allowing yourself to be deserving, trusting in yourself. Like, do you trust yourself with money? Do you trust yourself to make these decisions, to make intentional decisions in your offense? Um, all that stuff, anything around wealth and money and finances and all that. I'm doing wealth clearing calls. Um, they're specifically doing emotional clearing around wealth and money stuff that's in your life. So send me a message if you're interested in that. I'll drop the link for those two. Uh, I've got some spots open over the next couple of weeks. And that's it. Enjoy your tequila. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you soon. See ya.